Dior ring. Not quite sure. Um, but I really like the look of the middle finger. What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine and today I'm doing another unboxing haul. So, today's video is gonna be unboxing of this cute little dainty Dior ring. I believe it was the Dior Revolution ring and it came in this new bag. Let's go ahead and unbox this. So this is the box that it came in. It came in their new collection box. Um, I believe this is fairly new. Initially it was a, a white bag, I mean, and it has this reflective, really, really nice gold. Came with this white ribbon. Just gonna go ahead and pull on. And these are both the box and the bag. I believe the original bag prior to this was white. This is like my first ever Dior purchase, so not quite sure. Comes with this little cleaning cloth that I'm not quite sure. So this is the ring. It, it's very small and dainty. It says Dior across it. And then there's a small crystal at the very end of it. I feel like this is just a very small and classic piece. I've seen a lot of girls wear it just by itself and also stacked with a lot of different other rings as well. And I feel like it's just a very nice quaint piece that you can either style for going out, for just day-to-day -day wear, a lot of different things. And I personally got the medium size because I thought that it would give me more versatility of where I would be able to wear it. So I could wear it here, here, or here. Um, but I really like the look of the middle finger. I feel like that just looks very elegant and not too flashy. So overall, I really like the way that this just sits. I like how it's just a very simple chic piece and it's nothing like too flashy. For example, a lot of them, I'll put a picture here of the one that I was looking at and it was more like a chain design and it was across your finger and I just feel like that one you would need to stack a lot more different pieces on as opposed to this one where you can kind of just wear it by itself and it's more like day-to-day -day wear type of ring. Um, my biggest concern with this is obviously that for one, um, I'm really scared of how it'll wear down. I think um, especially with the concern of like, I really hope it doesn't like this color and I hope, and then the crystal itself, I hope it doesn't lose the shine. Um, but yeah, I feel like it would look really, really nice with a lot of different pieces. Like chic and classic, um, but I really love this piece. I tried on a bunch of other ones and I, nothing like really matched the way this one did. Um, so I thought it was a super cute piece. First designer piece. Super excited for this. Um, I'll keep y'all posted as far as the wear and tear of this. I initially was gonna see if I could exchange it for a small, but I feel like now that I'm actually wearing it, the medium fits me fairly well, especially with wanting to interchange between different fingers. And I could also um, wear it on my right hand as well. And I just think it's a really chic piece if you're looking 
to possibly buy your first designer piece of jewelry. This one cost $300. And 55 with tax included um, the price tag is 330 I believe and the tax in the area that I'm in um, was like roughly seven or eight percent so it's definitely a more affordable piece of designer I would say in comparison to let's say the Cartier ring um, so I think this is a really really pretty piece um, definitely one that you can wear day to day so I'm super excited to see the wear of this ring. If you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to follow me on my social media at Jazz the Nurse and to subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video.